Hi everyone, I'm Paul Drennan from Jersey City. I'm a deputy chief on the Jersey City Fire Department. And we developed, we developed over the years a peer support team. We've been doing this for about three or four years at this point, getting training for the team uh, and learning a lot about uh, peer support and how to bring it to the job. Uh, the main purpose of peer support is for, for counseling for people, anyone with stress, anxiety, depression, has suicidal, struggling with alcohol or drugs. So we developed this team so we, we know what to do, we know what resources to steer them to. Uh, we, you know, we're not here to, to make people's problems go away. What we're here to do is to help them face their consequences and change their behavior for the better. And uh, that's what we're here to do. And as a team, we do this together. Many of us on this team have been through many struggles in our lives alcohol, drugs, like myself. I'm, I'm a recovered alcoholic and drug addict. By the grace of God, I've been sober uh, two, two decades at this point. Uh, and it's because people in the past have helped me. Guys that were on a job that, that stepped up and helped me to steer me in the right direction, told me about uh, where to go, what resources to go. I used the EAP, and uh, it, it helped change my life. And I've been sober almost uh, 20 years, and it's only by the grace of God and the help of other people people that were there to steer me in the right direction and they helped me face my consequences. Back then when, when this was going on things were quiet, people were ashamed if they had a problem uh, but today things are different and if we get educated and we're aware of things and let people know it's okay to have problems because we all have stress, anxiety, we all know someone that may have committed suicide, a loved one that's struggling with alcohol and drugs and that's what this program is about. It's about to make people aware firefighters offices so they can see things and maybe we can interject and get in in there and, and steer them in the right direction and not just save the life of that person but uh, all the uh, despair of the family and, and the mother the father the wife the kids and so a lot of people affected if you help one person I believe we'll help more people save more lives doing this than our job because our job is we put our lives on the lives for each other and the public but here We'll save more lives by being effective, by being smart, by being aware of things, by being able to help people steer them in the right direction. And that's what this, this is all about. And uh, I'm just going to open it up. We've got a great team. Everybody here volunteers their time. No one gets paid for anything. Okay. We also do the uh, critical incident stress debriefing. We've been getting trained on that. We've been getting mentored uh, by it. Uh, Bob Baker from the city. Uh, communications director has helped us because he's done it for the police. He, he helped uh, me and, and, and uh, Deputy Chief Steve Drennan going out and then now we've been mentoring when we get a critical incident stress uh, incident we go out and we bring some of the guys on the team so they can get mentored into how to do it. So we do that, that also. We developed a code of conduct. We developed an SOP for the department on how to activate uh, the peer support team if there's an incident that they need to go to. But our main purpose is to be there to help everyone, to watch, to be there for anyone that needs any, any kind of help. Because we all have stress, we all have problems, and we all have families. We're there to help them. Yeah, great. so I, I just offer that. I, the team is, um, it's not here to, prof to replace professional uh, help that's out there. We already have that. But the unique thing about this is it's peer-to-peer. -peer. You know, it's, it's uh, us taking care of our own family together we have a lot to offer here the team we opened it up and we got a great group of guys that came out that we reached out to and every one of them to to a member was interested in um, supporting their brothers and it's something that we can offer as a peer-to-peer -peer thing you know, with which professionals can't necessarily offer you know we've seen nothing but great feedback from everybody these guys are totally into it um, we reached out, we've, we've been doing it for a few years now. Other departments have reached out to us. And I'm just here to say that uh, I'm glad that uh, my cousin Paul started this. Um, it's grown, it's continuing to grow. And we're just getting more knowledge on it and I think we're getting better and better. And I thank everybody for being a part of this. Now, I'd also like to thank the Chief of the Department for giving us his full support and the unions who've been helping people over the years for many years. Both our unions, firefighters and officers unions, been taking care of guys when they need help.
Um, my name is Carlos Lopez. I'm a retired firefighter with the Jersey City Fire Department. And I want to thank Chief Drennan and also his cousin. Um, this, this team has come a long way. I think our first meeting was held in City Hall, correct? When this first started, I think, many years ago. Um, you know, this is, this is something that's going to be really, really good. Um, this wasn't available for me 25 years ago when I got sober. Um, I had struggles. Um, I hid most of my life, and um, this is just a wonderful program for people who are hurting inside. Um, we've been well trained. Uh, I got to thank the International Firefighters Association for giving me a knowledge that I didn't have. Um, I've been sober for a long time, but with this training that we received, um, I think that this team um, will be able to help uh, brothers and sisters on the job um, that need the help. Um, you know, this is a thing of life or death. Um, the Jersey City Fire Department has dealt with a lot of tragedies. Um, since I've been a member of the Jersey City Fire Department, I worked for 31 years, I've been retired for three, and in the three years that I've been away from the job, um, we've had a lot of issues on this job, and I think that this program has been implemented at the right time, and I think with with a lot of hard work, um, we can save a lot of souls. Uh, not just us particularly, but I think that they have given us the knowledge and the tools that we need for someone who's still sick and suffering, that we can point them in the right direction, and that's how this program works, right? One hand helps another hand. Um, that's how I got saved. Um, I surrendered to this program at 25, excuse me, 26 years ago, and I didn't have to do this alone, and that's what this team is here for, you know, um, to just spread a message of hope that if anybody's hurting on the job, um, we're here to help. Um, and I think I want to thank Paul, Paulie Drennan and his cousin, who put a lot of time into this, and uh, picking this team wasn't easy, you know. I think that the two chiefs that sit in front of me um, picked me for a reason, you know, and it's only because of the process that I've been through. Um, this, it's not going to be easy, you know. It's a lot of people aren't going to come forward right away, but I think by the way they put this team together and how this team is being established and how we're just reaching out for help by professionals, you know, we needed help. You know, this is all new to us, but I think that they have developed a good team. And um, if someone's hurting out there um, with media, well, we're not going to do much media, right? It's more of an in-house thing. It's, it's for anyone. Right. I mean, there's going to be, out there. we've produced brochures, it's going to yeah. get out to the firehouses, and I think if anybody's hurting, you know, they'll, they'll know where to come, and I want to thank That's you. That's why they're doing this, so everybody knows about Right. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Thank you. Hi, my name's Eli Ramos. I'm a firefighter. Um, <laughs> I wanted to uh, first thank Chief Drennan. Um, when I first got on the job, I was struggling with a lot of family stuff, really deep, dark stuff, and he reached out to me and I was just a rookie, I was really nobody, you know, just started fresh on the job. And he saw my pain and he let me, you know, kind of into his life, got to talk to me and thanks to him, he was the start of me getting better and thanks to the grace of God. And, and anyone that here knows me well, you know, I've been through a lot of family members passing away through alcoholism. And, um, I have family members that are struggling with mental illness because they did not acknowledge to say, ouch. I believe that there's a stigma that's been a pandemic way before anything else we're dealing with now. And it's, we were told that we, to be men or women, to be strong, you're not supposed to open up. You're supposed to stay there stagnant. And stagnant only causes pain around to you and those around you. And I, what, I, what I love about being here with everyone here is that we're breaking that stagnant. We are rising above to show people it's okay to say ouch, to acknowledge that we, we are all hurting, we all have problems, all of us, there's nobody here that's perfect, there's nobody here that's that's 100% doing everything 100%, you know? But the thing about life is not about perfection, it's about progress, and the more we acknowledge our pain, and pain has purpose, there is a purpose behind everyone's pain, there's a purpose behind his, a purpose behind mine, I help people with my pain every day, you know? grateful to God for it and 
when I'm, and I was handpicked by him too. I was reluctant, <laughs> you know. And I and I and I appreciate and I love everyone here. And I, we just want you to know that there is hope, and there is and to stay encouraged that you know life isn't supposed to be easy. You know that God put us here on a planet. I say we're put us here for a reason. I say we're beautifully made, and perfectly flawed. That's my saying, but it's, anyone can use it. It's not trademarked. Um, but on that, I'd like to say, uh, you know, don't be afraid. It's time to kill the fear. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Miguel Rios. I'm a captain with the Jersey City Fire Department. And um, Eli just used a very interesting word, stigma. And I think as, um, as firefighters, we're very quick to help other people, but we're very reluctant to seek help for ourselves. And so as a result, you have a lot of people that suffer in silence. They're like the walking wounded. Um, whether it's issues at home, issues like, uh, you know, with anxiety, depression, stress, alcoholism, drugs. It may not even have to be at an extreme level, but we rarely ask for help. So I, I saw this personally in myself, you know, uh, suffering with issues. But coming to work and appearing fine and giving the illusion that I'm fine, that everything's great, but then going home and maybe everything's not great. And so as a result, your family suffers, your children suffer, everyone suffers. So when uh, when the Chiefs approached me about this program, I thought it was a, a, a great opportunity because sometimes you'll recognize these things and if you've experienced them, you'll recognize them in your coworkers. So this just gives you a few tools to help them open up and help them find the help that they need. So. Over. Tell, tell them the website. <laughs> it's on uh, JCF. Is it JCF or FDJCF? What's the website? You got it? Wow, okay, okay. Anybody get the number yeah, of the bus? Uh, Jim Van Winkle, Captain of the Department. Um, I think it's also important to know that um, privacy and confidentiality mm -hmm. in the program is important. It's important to you, it's, uh, it's important to us as well. So uh, we're going to make sure that. You know, Whoever approaches us, um, your privacy is, is almost important. Outside of the job, within the job, and also within the team itself. So uh, you know the, the amount of the amount of we're going to we're going to point you in the right direction, but the amount of people that are going to be aware of your issues um, are going to be minimal, without a doubt. So I'd just like to add that I think the, uh, the Chiefs have done a great job of pulling together uh, all, all members of the department reflecting the diversity, men, women, races, different parts of the city where we grew up, so that almost anyone in the department could connect with someone on this team. And I think that's the most important part of the peer support program. We've developed a website, jcfdpeersupport.com. Uh, all our phone numbers and information is on there. If you need to reach out to us directly, again, confidentiality is a big part of this program. Um, I think that everyone here has the best intentions of just helping our brothers and sisters get the help that they need to get them back on the right path and just keep them safe. So, now, I'm just going to back that up, what they said and what Jimmy said about the confidentiality. And when we pick a team, we look at the guy's character them being mentors, them being what took to on this job, but probably the most important thing was that, that we could do that, right? That bond, because if we lose that, we lose everything, and that, that's what we need to know. And I think with the team we have and, and being known around the department, that's what we bring to the table. You know, something that no professional can bring into this family. It's got to come right from here. And you can see their hearts, they're into it. I can't believe how far we've come with the team. What I've learned taking the classes and just listening to you guys and some of the stories you told, it's incredible. Like Morgan just said, everybody's got something different to offer you. And it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. So it's a team. We hope our guys use it as much as possible. And I'm uh, just telling you, it's, it's, it's a success story up to this point. And, you know, we're not professionals. We're getting some training. We're just, we're just people that care about other people. That have been through stuff that are aware of things and we can lead you to the right resources because we want to help them. That's our main purpose. And if you need other resources, you need professional help, we'll, we'll steer you in that, in that direction if that's what it needs. Most of the time it's not that. We just talk, we counsel, and help you get through, through whatever it is you're going through. Whether it's anxiety, stress, alcoholism, drug addiction.
We're here with a peer support team for Jersey City, that's our purpose. But we're also here if there's any departments out there that want to get know what we did, what we did to put this together, that uh, we're here for you and we'll help you in, in any way. If you want, reach out to me, uh, Walt Drennan, Jersey City. My number is on that website and uh, on, a temp on a paperwork that Larry's going to show you on this video. <laughs> right? So if you need any direction, we're here to help, and that's what we want to do. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.